Valentine's Day is a great opportunity to show your loved ones how much you care about them. I'm going to show you some things that you can do around the house, maybe even with your loved ones. They're really pretty easy to do. Now you won't need any big crazy tools like this, but if you want to tear a toilet out, a lavatory out, kitchen sink, anything else, you may want one of these just in case. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. So let's get started on the list and let's have fun. All right, so one of the greatest things is, what if you have a leaky faucet? Now, there's different things you can do. You can actually get inside of it here and change the cartridge. Something that's not real complicated, you just wanna make sure you get down under the sink first and turn off the angle stops. If you start tearing things apart up here without turning off the water first, water could go everywhere. So turn off your angle stops first, then come up and turn your water on. Make sure you have no water coming out. Angle stops don't always shut off. So you wanna just make sure that you don't create a problem. Plumbing's not real hard to do. You've just gotta protect yourself. That'd be a good time to clean out from under the sink, you never know. But changing the faucet. Also, cleaning out the aerator. Now these are pretty easy to do because you can get to them fairly easy. But taking this aerator out, making sure you got all the calcium and magnesium cleaned off your head, there's a lot of different things you can do. But what about a better idea? Why not go ahead and do it ahead of time before she gets home? Put a whole new faucet in. It's your last option. Maybe it's your first, depends on how old the one is there. But why not go ahead and jump in and take care of that? This is something you can do for your honeydew. Now, one thing I've already done, I've already changed out my kitchen sink. I had one of those old, you know, apartment style stainless steel sinks that actually just clamped in. So what I did, I took it out and installed a bigger, nicer, squared off stainless steel sink that, that's deeper. I changed the faucet out at the time. I did some different things. Now this one is caulked in, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to change next time. I'm gonna actually have to remove the caulk around it. But if you've got one of those smaller stainless steel shallow sinks, I mean, mine's almost 12 inches deep. I've got room in here. I could probably leave dishes for a week or two. Now that wouldn't be very good for my honeydew list, but it's something I could do. Changing kitchen sinks out really again is not that hard. Turn off the angle stops, disconnect everything, unscrew it all the way around, pull it out. Most sinks, most kitchen sinks are 33 by 22. Find something that mounts in above if that's what you have. If it's one that mounts in from below, maybe granite, marble top, something like that, that's gonna take a little bit more work. But one thing is make sure you know how many holes you need. Is it a one hole? Is it a two hole? Is it a four hole? What does it have? Does it have soap? Does it have a sprayer? Just make sure you buy the right faucet for the right amount of holes or the right sink to go with the faucet that you have, whichever way you're going. Just count your holes and know what you need going in. Changing a toilet out, and this is actually one of my favorite things. Here's why. If you've got an older toilet, it can literally change the way your bathroom looks. It's a little bit more difficult to do it. It may be something that you definitely need help with. Now, if you really want to surprise your spouse, do it when they're not home and do like I did. Add a bidet toilet seat. Adding a bidet toilet seat is gonna cost you a little bit more money, but man, when, when we have problems getting toilet paper, I really don't have to worry about it. And the good thing is I always feel clean and fresh. You wanna do something really special for your significant other? It may take a little bit more work, but upgrading that toilet to a new one, maybe a taller one, maybe a newer one that doesn't use as much water. There's a lot of good things about them. It'll make her smile in a way you hadn't even seen yet. Oh. And why is this good for you? Well, my toilet has a remote control and it's mine. Nobody else gets to play with this. This is my remote control. Hey, that's my remote. Hecky Peckerton. So one that's a little bit more difficult may be changing out the water heater. It is still something that you can do. This water heater converts cold water into hot. With all the connectors out there today, you don't even have to know how to solder. The main thing you wanna remember is to shut your valves off up top. That kills the water. Come down here and drain it down. 
that makes it where it's at least a little bit more manageable. Then you're gonna have to cut all the copper or if you've got unions, take it apart. This is something that is relatively easy to do. It looks bad because it's so big and bulky, but man, if you really love your significant other and your water heater is old enough that maybe you're starting to run out of hot water, the first time I put in a new water heater, it blew my mind how much closer to the cold side I had to keep the valve because my water was actually getting too hot. If you've got a water heater that's relatively new, something else you can possibly do is come out and flush it, but we'll talk about that in a whole nother video. Changing one out though is something that really is not too hard to do. Another one that's easy to do that people really love is changing out a shower head. Now, if you're gonna change one out, maybe you wanna to go to a handheld or something like that. The screen looks good. Well, we do have a whole house water filtration system, and that's something that'd be worth the investment too. change out your toilet if you've got an elongated toilet if you've already got a tall one maybe you've already got a high efficiency one the shower head we put in was low flow and if I put in a new toilet I would make sure it's a high efficiency toilet now here's the cool thing you do something neat like that and then you really want to impress her with your plumbing skills pick up some bath bombs all right we have our strawberry bath bomb and this is how you use it. You take it out of the wrapper and you just drop it into your water. And a bottle of champagne. Spend the night in the tub before you go to bed. I gotta tell you, that will be an amazing Valentine's Day and she's gonna really appreciate how you took care of her honey do list. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have fun working around the house, whether you do it yourself or if you use your significant other. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you take time to make it a wonderful day. And ladies, 314's only a month away. <laughs>